I'm going to tell you a little bit about, uh, I suppose, your forte in music, which is swing music. And the fiddle, would I be right in saying that that's what you like? Well, I guess so. I like all of it, but uh, I grew up listening to Texas dance music, I think you'd call it. I, I couldn't, my mother didn't believe in going to dances, but we got the records and listened to them. Cliff Brunner yeah. was an old uh, hero of mine, and J.R. Chatwell, Chatwell was a fiddle player with Adolph Hoffner. And then about 1940, I think Bob Wells really turned me on the fiddle players he had, and, and as much as anything else was the beat for dance music, the yeah. swings, you know. And you actually played with Bob Wells for a while? 49 and 50, and then 51. I played about two and a half years with him. And it must have been quite an experience. Mm-hmm. Join the road. Uh, they used to say, uh, join the Navy and see the world. They used to say, join Bob Wells and see the world through a windshield. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think this, that Bob gave uh, that music an opportunity to be heard around the world where it hadn't been before. Yeah, I mean, was it mainly dances that Bob Wells was playing for, big dances, or did he do right. concerts? Or? Mostly dances. Yeah, well, occasionally did concerts, but he felt more at home playing for dancers, and uh, I do too. I still feel that way. I'd rather play for a, for a 500 or 1,000 people dancing and play where they they can have a good time and take yeah. some pressure off of you. You can experiment then. Right. Yeah, thing. you can relax a little and do what you like, and everybody's having a good time. Mm -hmm. About that double stuff and you're doing that, that, that two fingered stuff, did you actually have to learn that, or did you grow up with it? Or? No, uh, well, the first tunes, you know, a lot of the old breakdowns have a two-finger like ragtime in. Then San Antonio Rose is double yeah. stop, but it's more, uh, I guess you'd call it primitive. Yeah. And then I got, it's just playing chords, and then I got into practicing, uh, and then fiddling around is double stop. comes off of uh, chords. I learned mandolin along with uh, when I was learning fiddle. Yeah. And I think mandolin helps, like you were talking about picking it, you right. begin to, you see your notes yeah. on there instead of feeling right. them. Right. Well, with the no frets on the fiddle, you know, it's kind of hard to realize what you're well, doing on one. One estimate that mandolin. you never have to fret over, isn't it? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, you need to be really accurate when you're doing that. Do what? No, you need to slide a lot, Ellie. Yeah, just, just slide a little bit. No, just slide on the <laughs> Junior, I was going to talk to you about, you're the expert here on competitions over this country. You've been playing competitions <laughs> for, been a long time. for years and years. Yeah, I've been since about, well, seriously, since about 1970, I guess. I think I went to Weezer, the Nationals, first year, 1970. And these, uh, these, these competitions are all over the place, aren't they? Right. They've got a bundle of them here in Texas, but I don't come down here very often. I've got too many good fellas down here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're from New Mexico, which right. is just pretty close to the Texas border. Yes, just, I'm, I'm about 45 miles north of El Paso. And uh, you're a real cowboy because you did all the rodeo stuff way back. In, at one time, yes. Uh, what did that, how did you do that, just sort of move around different rodeos like you do moving around fiddle competitions? Yeah, only I didn't make as much money as if that's what I did. Mean. <laughs> I didn't make as much money. <laughs> Finally yeah. had a horse fall on me, crushed a foot, and I quit. So you quit? That's it. Yeah. <laughs> 